Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. We are on lesson 10 of our Learning Sass for Beginners playlist, and we are going over our second most common procedure, which is Proc Freak. Now, if you just are getting started with us on our SAS journey, please check out lesson one. That shows you how to sign up for SAS On Demand for Academics and how to actually utilize that interface so you can start coding in SAS as soon as possible. Also, if you've missed the previous lesson on PROC means, which is also a very common procedure in SAS, please check out lesson nine. I'm going to link lesson one and lesson nine in the description below. So let's get started with PROC FREAK. So PROC FREAK is our frequency pr procedure. It gives us one-way frequencies of a single variable, which we're gonna see an example of, two-way frequencies um, of two separate variables, all, or you can also do those variables combined, which we call, call a cross tabulation. And it also gives us three-way frequencies, four-way, et cetera, et cetera. So just going over the syntax, the table statement is going to be that key statement where you list variables that you want to see frequencies for. You also can add a slash right before this semicolon to put in options. So if you wanna suppress certain frequencies, you can also do that as well with an option. I'm going to put a link in the description for the documentation of Proc Freak. And, but pretty much this is the, your proc freak documentation. It tells you the syntax, okay? And it also gives you some examples that I'm gonna go over today as well. I'm gonna go over different examples than what you see here. So please, please, please always look at the documentation if you have any questions. All right, so as I mentioned, there are some options that you can put at the end of that table statement. And these options include missing, where you can include missing values in the frequency and in percentages. So say for instance, there is a variable with a ton of missing values or the missing values actually signify something and you want to include that in your frequency table. If you wanna suppress the cumulative frequencies in one way frequencies, you can put this no cum option and et cetera, et cetera. So once again, all of these options are gonna be available in that SAS documentation. And we're also gonna look at examples. So starting off easy, let's look at a one-way frequency that has no options. So I'm reading the baseball data set from the SAS Help Library. Everybody has access to this library. So you can type in exactly what you see here and you should be able to get the same output. And I took the first quarter of the output. So here are all of my different positions in baseball. Okay, first baseman, two basemen, et cetera. And we see the frequency the percentage, the cumulative frequency, and the cumulative percent, okay? So let's actually look at that within SAS Studio. So I'm going to take this option from the first one. I'm going to run my one-way frequency table. And notice that my cumulative percentage ends with 100 because cumulative percentage should always end at 100%. My cumulative frequency is normally going to be equal to the number of observations in your data set, unless you have missing values. And then I have the frequency of the number of rows that have that position. So 31 people have the position of first baseman. I can easily look down this row and see that 40 of them are, I'm guessing, some type of catcher. Okay. So that is the frequency and then the percentage of that relative to the data set. So 12.42% of all positions are position C, which we're going to say is a catcher. Okay. So that is how a one-way frequency table looks. I can do two one-way frequencies if I put them side by side without an asterisk in the middle. So this is going to give me one table, one frequencies table for position and one frequency table for league. So then I can go ahead and run this. And I see that same table up top and I see the league table at the bottom, okay? So that is how we can generate two one-way frequencies. All right, so that is our one-way frequencies. Let's go ahead and change this back to just looking at a position frequency table. We can look at that one-way frequency with options. So here I want to suppress those no-cum options, okay? So 
I'm just going to put a slash after positions and put no Q in all caps. So no cumulative frequencies. And then when I run this, you see those last two columns are missing. Okay. So this is just, if I don't care about the cumulative count, position, position, normally that doesn't give me much information in one-way frequencies. I just want to know how many rows have this position and the percentage of that position in the data set. Okay. So it might be beneficial to suppress that. You can only use this option for one-way frequencies. Okay. So that is our one-way frequency utilizing options. Now let's look at a two-way frequency using a cross tabulation. And notice in this case, I have an asterisk between the two variables that I'm looking at. So in this case, I'm reading for the same data set and I'm looking at the frequencies of division versus lead. And I also pretty like to look at categorical variables here in my tables when I'm doing cross tabulation, right? Because if it's a continuous numeric variable, you're going to have tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of columns and rows, right? But this is great when we have two categorical variables. And notice when I don't have any options, it prints out the frequency, the percent, the row percent, and the column percent. So let's actually look at this in SAS Studio. So this is our second example below. And I am going to run this. And this is the output. So pretty much the top row, right, tells us how many American League East Division rows are in the data set, how many National League East Division rows are in the data set in that total, the percent here, all four of these percents should add up to 100, okay? So this is going to be the percentage of American League East Division, the percentage of National League East Division in the data set, the percentage of American League West Division, and so forth. So all four of those are going to add up to 100, the row percent is the next numbers, right? So the row percent is going to be this and this. So this and this should add up to 100%, right? And the next number is going to be the column percentage. So this and this should add up to 100%, okay? So what if I'm not interested in the row percent, for instance, right? I would just put a slash because I'm doing an option and I'm putting no row, right? And that stands for no row percentage. So then when I run it again, I see that now I'm only down to three numbers within each block besides four, okay? And it eliminated the row percent. And that is how we do cross tabulations. You can do this amongst three variables if you wanted to, okay? But this is, we're just going over one-way and two-way frequencies. And we see here in our last slide that we have an example of how to use an option of no row, okay? So the main takeaway from Proc Freak is that you're able to look at frequencies, preferably among categorical variables. There are options where you can control the output in SAS. You can do cross tabulations, which are two-way frequencies, okay? And that way that you can see um, how two categorical variables relate to each other within that data set. And you also can add in options where you can incorporate missing values as well. There is a help documentation on this procedure in the description below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. As I mentioned before, if you didn't take a peek at the first video so that you can code these procedures on your own, I highly recommend it. That link will be in the description as well. And if you also want to go look at the Proc Means, um, Proc Means presentation, that will also be in the description. Thanks so much for tuning in with Learning with Jelly. Bye-bye.